Welcome back to Mr. Giant Reacts and Ting and Ting and Ting. I'm Mr. Giant and today we're going to watch time lapse of the entire universe. You know, someone suggested this to me, so you know, I'm going to go ahead and watch it. Let's YouTube and Sim Simmer and see what that time lapse is all about. This is looking interesting. Across the cosmos, the core itself 
remains a mystery. Not even light can escape, so their interior is forever hidden from us. Oh. Throughout a star's life, there is a constant battle between energy pushing out and gravity pushing in. When it runs out of fuel, the star collapses and then explodes with the brightness of a billion suns. Watching this, I'm thinking, okay, uh, I uh, I watched another video and it was about the uh, the vastness of the universe. Okay, I'll link it uh, uh, in here so that you could uh, you could go check that out. But uh, the idea of is there any other human, any other beings out there besides us? And I wonder if they saw what was happening. Because that explosion is so immense, but you know, maybe they're so far away they can't tell. But you know, let's just let's just spat them that there, you know what I mean? But if that's the case, how come we don't really see massive explosions like that happening? Meteoroids go by and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, if there was one that was boom out there that we could actually see, but it didn't affect us. You know what I mean? Because I don't follow that astronomy stuff that much, you know, or, you know, the universe and the outer workings because I, I believe in living in the now and here with us and trying to get us to respect each other. But, you know, imagine seeing that just being a being on a planet and watching a star or moon or fragments from it. But then again, it's not what they say, meteoroids or asteroids or whatever. It's pieces of planets that exploded and they're just floating through the air or through the universe. You know what I mean? But it must be a spectacular sight to, you know, if anybody survived it, you know what I mean? But that's an interesting thought right there. Are we ever going to see anything that could be catastrophic or that brilliant in, 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 the, in the time of human existence at the rate we go in now, the way it's getting hot, we're just going to be like fried eggs on a, on a pavement somewhere. I mean, that's kind of a macabre sort of way of looking at it, but you know, we had some of the hottest days ever this year. A heat wave that lasted forever, especially in one of the worst ones in, in, in London, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's get back to this year. I was just watching and I was thinking, you know, there's beans out there. Can they see that stuff happening or were there people around long enough to have seen stuff like that? Not people per se, but you know, beings, period. Let's get back to the video. These are new stars forming from the elements blown out by supernova explosions. New stars being born from the remains of dead ones. And it's from this universal process of death and rebirth that we emerged. Because it was in a nebula just like this, five billion years ago, that our sun was formed. Continents were still forming. The land was 
was dominated by volcanoes. Hostile and lifeless. But deep in the oceans, life had begun. Oh, wow. said that like under the ocean is where the life started to form right I guess the conditions then were right for that to happen because you know it was an uninhabited but then they couldn't be up on top so they were formed below so it's the conditions way down there where we can go is it good for new organisms and stuff to start forming down there and coming up? And since it was like a, a, a they said like the pit of hell because it was so hot and life lifeless. At the rate we go with global warming, if it get to be that hot, or some people say global warming is where it get cold, but with the hot days and stuff, wouldn't that create more things? It would have to get to that magnitude, I guess. Like, I have never actually watched anything about the Big Bang Theory in this uh, consequential way. I've just heard about it, bits and pieces and stuff like that. But it's very interesting, you know what I mean? I'm liking this. If you're liking this, drop a like on the video and let me know if you want to watch more of this type of stuff. Because this is quite interesting. And I know I watch history a lot here, but <laughs> you could consider this the history of the world, right? history of how the world was formed and some people believe this and some people believe in a great creator and a god and all of that comment down below let me know what you think all right let's get back to the video and take you know cyanobacteria and other oxygen producing microbes began to bloom these flourished in colonies of plant-like microbes that pumped out enormous volumes of oxygen really cool that was really cool and like I said I've never watched anything uh, in, in the sequence like that about how it was formed I've heard bits and pieces like I said but that was interesting makes you think make you think you know because like I was raised as Roman Catholic so you know I, I heard the creationist story 
more than anything else, you know. But I never paid attention to this part of it here. And uh, this was quite interesting. And I hope you guys enjoy it with me. I'll leave a link in the uh, description for this video. And I'll also leave a link to the other one that I watched. Uh, uh, the vastness, uh, how big the universe is. You know, I don't remember the exact title of it. But, you know, you all go check that out. You know what I mean? I hope you guys are having a good day, man. You know, and uh, I hope you're chilling. Watching videos with me, breaking out your popcorn and take it all the way. Y'all take care of each other, alright? Cool runnings.